the video is, is undisputable. The child is, is uh, seizing violently. Uh, when the nasal spray is administered, within 20 seconds, uh, the seizures are stopping. And I've noticed this on the videos that it's in, it's in multiple videos. Like if you actually watch when the parent administers the, the rescue mode and start counting after the spray hits, it's around 20 seconds for every single child. You know, every time they take this, 20 seconds later, the grandma seizure stops. But Jason Cranford, it's good to have you here with us. Um, let's talk about your product here, Canatol. You actually developed this with a pharmacist, is that correct? I did. I worked with a compounding pharmacist to develop the formula. Uh, we tried multiple carrier solutions and homogenization emulsifying agents. So what we did was try to mimic pharmaceutical rescue meds with organic solutions. And the idea here when you say rescue is uh, a child with epilepsy begins to have a seizure and then a parent or a guardian would, would administer this nasal spray? Yes, sir. So there's a, certain, a specific seizure type called a tonic-clonic or a grand mal seizure. Um, this occurs when um, basically the, the child falls on the ground, they start convulsing violently. These seizures can go on upwards of five minutes, which is called a status seizure. These seizure types are lethal. So when you see children die of, uh, of epilepsy, it's usually from a status seizure. It's okay, buddy. So how many people have you tested this with so far? How many families? Uh, we've given it to five families so far, and all five families uh, reported back uh, amazing results. They said that it worked faster than their pharmaceutical rescue meds and with none of the side effects. Uh, typically, these rescue meds, benzodiazepines especially, diastat, when administered rectally, uh, Sometimes it pulls the kid out of the grand mal seizure, sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't, they have to call the ambulance. Uh, and when they do finally come out of the seizure, they're in a, a state known as zombie mode to the parents, where the child is non-responsive, they're you know, highly intoxicated for up to 12 hours after taking the rescue mode, where okay. the spray we've developed has no side effects. You had families actually video record uh, these instances where they administered this nasal spray as well, is that correct? Correct. Uh, you know, I, I could go on Facebook or social media and tell people that I've developed a miracle drug and, you know, nobody would believe it or they challenge me and question it. So there is no other proof as good as video proof. The videos that you've shared with us are, are incredible. Oh, it's amazing. So that specific type of epilepsy is called intractable epilepsy. It's basically when they've done their cocktails of pharmaceuticals. You know, there's over a dozen uh, AED drugs, which is an anti-eleptic drug. And to see all of these drugs get expired and not be effective and not help the, the patient with a seizure. And then we make an oil that's just an organic oil derived from a plant that's doing the job that these pharmaceuticals can't do. It's a little mind blowing to me because it makes me wonder why would these pharmaceutical companies make chemical compounds and chemical cocktail mixtures they don't even as work as well as a natural plant. It's just mind blowing to me. Well, I, I think there are a lot of people who do agree with you on that. That you have this naturally occurring substance that is uh, remarkable on so many levels, and yet it's a crime to possess it. But as you said, we're, we're mixing cocktails of all kinds of, of synthetic drugs and um, chemicals that we know are harmful, and we know that even in the best case scenarios are not necessarily healthy for you. They just seem to be preventative. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you really think about it, it doesn't make sense. So the government has the uh, patent on cannabinoids as antioxidants and neuroprotectants. It's the 6630507 patent. So if the government has this patented as a neuroprotectant, why is it, it not more commonly known that this plant oil can stop seizures? It's a huge hypocrisy. What do you ultimately hope will come from your nasal spray? Well, hopefully this nasal spray will spread awareness. Uh, it'll let Families out there that have expired our ph all pharmaceutical drugs know that they have another option, a much safer organic option with no side effects, no permanent damage to liver and kidneys. So what I'm basically hoping to do with this nasal spray is uh, spread awareness and let these parents know there are other much safer options than diastat.
Over the past couple of years, many videos have emerged showing parents administering cannabis oil to stop epileptic seizures in their children. This undeniable proof of medical cannabis to treat epilepsy is part of the reason why, in December 2015, the American Epilepsy Society hailed it as the greatest potential for safe, effective treatment. A new video report from Truth in Media reveals perhaps the most striking footage to date of medical cannabis saving the lives of epileptic children. Ben Swan interviewed Jason Cranford, inventor of the Canadol Rescue Spray, a remarkable new nasal spray that is rescuing children from potentially fatal grand mal seizures. There's no better proof than video, said Cranford. So the parents who've received his miraculous rescue spray have been recording their success. In the video, several children are shown having tonic-clonic seizures, which are violent with long-lasting effects and can be fatal. They all have intractable epilepsy, meaning that all the existing pharmaceutical rescue meds have failed them. Within 20 seconds of application, the Canadol rescue spray stops the seizures in their tracks. The sight is nothing short of amazing, and is yet another reminder that government prohibition of this plant is nothing short of tyrannical. There are over a dozen anti-epileptic drugs, and to see all of these drugs get expired and not be effective and not help the patient with a seizure. And then, we make an organic oil that is derived from a plant that's doing the job that these pharmaceuticals can't do. It's a little mind-blowing to me, said Cranford. Because why would these pharmaceutical companies make chemical compounds and chemical cocktail mixtures that don't even work as well as a natural plant? It's just mind-blowing to me. Cranford worked with a compounding pharmacist to develop the treatment, trying several different carriers to mimic the delivery efficacy of existing pharmaceutical meds, finally resulting in an organic nasal spray. All of the families who have received the Canada Rescue Spray have reported amazing results. It works faster than existing rescue meds with none of the side effects. Standard rescue meds can cause a catatonic state for up to 12 hours, and can also damage the liver and kidneys, whereas the Canada Rescue Spray has no such side effects. The extraordinary promise of this cannabis cure is tempered by the dismal fact that it is restricted only to Colorado, due to ongoing federal prohibition of cannabis. It's hard to imagine the anguish that parents in other states feel when they see a cure for their suffering children, but cannot get the cure because of ludicrous government prohibitions. The good news is that other states where medical cannabis is legal, which number 25 at the moment and could go as many as 34 after November 8 elections, can develop their own cannabis sprays, perhaps with help from Cranford. The inventor is no stranger to the federal government's own hypocrisy, noting their patent on cannabinoids as medicine. So the government has the patent on cannabinoids as antioxidants and neuroprotectants. It's the 6,630,507 patent. If the government has this patent as a neural protectant, why isn't it more commonly known that this plant oil can stop seizures? It's a huge hypocrisy. Read more at http colon slash slash theffreethoughtproject.com slash cannabis dash nasal dash spray dash state slash pound sign f6w.